I don't know how many other 19 year olds can say that they work with bombs and explosives on a daily basis. When I first get to work, I show up to roll call. That's where leadership goes over things that are happening in our unit and also to account for airmen and NCOs on load crews. In the world of loading, there's inspecting, prepping, and loading the bomb. I'm responsible for all things trailer, strapping the trailer, unstrapping it, knowing all the TOs when it comes to keeping the trailer safe. These weapons weigh upwards of 500 to 2,000 pounds. We can't pick it up by ourselves, which is why we have a jammer. We use it to pick up the bombs and put it into the weapon station. Uh, it can make fine adjustments because the bomb needs to go in very precisely. The importance of our evaluators testing us on our proficiency is that our evaluators need to trust that load crews can perform loading operations at a high level of knowledge and performance because they won't always be there when we're loading live munitions on the flight line. There are a lot of situations where you need to pick up heavy stuff and protect yourself at the same time. I think that Lifting, having good physical fitness is very beneficial in the flight line. Fitness for me is um, not necessarily for the Air Force a lot. I work out for myself a lot. I like looking good. <laughs> I like having big muscles. And so that I can be competent in my job. I really think that what I'm doing is a part of a bigger picture, and so I definitely get a sense of fulfillment from that. But also, I feel like what I'm doing is really cool. I get to work around fighter jets all day, and with weapons, bombs and missiles nonetheless. So I think that my job is important and that I belong where I am right now.